Just between us, I understand the daughter of the Lord in this region has been possessed by some sort of evil spirit and has taken to her bed. He'll require the aid of a skilled priest then. Are you certain this monk is virtuous and trustworthy? If one is to believe his claims, then I, my lord. Monk, you must drive away the evil spirits possessing my child or you'll receive nothing. My, living in opulence in such turbulent times as these. Surely your vassals must resent your wealth. Impudence! Princess, a monk has come to offer his blessings. Pardon me. Allow me to see her. Her face is terribly swollen. It is always so. Are you certain you're truly a monk? Huh? Tell me about that statue. I received it from an impoverished nobleman. They say it is a blessed idol. Hmm. I am prepared to begin. Leave the princess here with me and take everyone else on the grounds outside the residence gates. Huh? And my lord, mark my words. No matter how alarming the sounds from within, you must not peer inside. Oh. Hmm. Now then, I shall commence the exorcism. Very well. Come out at once and surrender peacefully and I shall show you mercy. I should have known you would not give in easily. A weasel demon, how very befitting. Glow. A shard of the Shikong Jewels. Oh. The beast sounds fearsome indeed. It certainly does. We should take a look inside, my lord. No, we'll wait. He said we must not peer inside until he gave us the word. Besides, I want to make sure the demon is long gone. Sounds less like an exorcism and more like the mansion is being pillaged. I still say we should wait. So, this weasel was the culprit. And this small animal turned into a demon and possessed you? Yes. And what of that young monk? He gave me no name, but left with my heart. My lord, I regret I have terrible news to bring you. <laughs> All of your valuables have been stolen. Including three of the best horses. I've been had. Now then, I must find a place to pawn these off. <sighs> How disappointing. An entire cartload of spoils and they fetched but a small price. Even so, this shard of the Shikon Jewel made it worth my while. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hmm. <sighs> a girl? Huh. She wears a shard of the Shikon Jewel, and there, I mean, it's huge! Don't you even think about peeking at huh. me! Don't flatter yourself, I got no interest in looking. Oh! Is that so? Well, fine then. Hey, why are you getting undressed? Give you one guess! Oh, no you don't! <laughs> Oops, sorry! You wanna come? Huh? Wait, come to think of it, how come you and Kagome spend so much time together and yet you never seem to bathe at the same time? Uh, think of all the fun things you can do when there's two of you. Listen, kid. Mom, Dad, and I always took baths together and we had a really great time. Remind me to explain it to you when you're a bit bigger. I guess that means you haven't gotten very far with Kagome yet, right? Uh, I don't know what 
that means, but no one seems to be willing to answer. Mm -hmm. I wonder why. I'll tell you why. In about 50 years when you're old enough to understand it. It's a, it's a question. What did I say? <sighs> okay, so maybe I'm not the beauty that Kikyo was. She's with another man. Too bad. I hate having to resort to violence. Ah! Allow me to explain. I merely wish for a guarantee. I told you that you'd be compensated. Yes. to doubt my intentions. I am nothing more than a simple monk. A monk who desired a jewel shard and got himself a young woman in the process. What am I, a consolation prize? Would anyone like to dance? <sighs> so much for their claim of having beautiful geishas. Would have had a better time if I'd gone drinking with the badger. Gotcha! Busted, bicycle thief! Huh? I'm so glad you're here! Oh. It's too good to be true. You're a real sight for sore eyes. Huh. I'll give you sore eyes! You again. I should have figured as much. Yeah, you should have. Funny, that's just what I was thinking. But I guess not all of us are blessed with good looks and brains. Don't suppose you'd be interested in handing over that jewel fragment you stole from us? A gem such as this does not belong in the hands of a demon. We'll see about that! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, you don't! Those prayer beads, they're what seals off the power of his hand. He stopped the assault on his own, meaning he can't be all that bad. <sighs> Kagome, are you crazy? You could have gotten yourself killed. I wouldn't have done it if I'd had any doubts. With a hand that powerful, he could have killed us a long time ago if he'd wanted to. Let's at least give him a chance. Uh. Maybe he can lend us a hand. <gasps> huh? <gasps> You just blew your last chance! Settle down, will you? Let me explain things. Dear Kagome, are you troubled by this wretched fate of mine? Sort of. Then do me this good turn, will you? I wish for you to bear me a son. Heck? <laughs> and why would I do that? If for some unforeseeable reason I should fail to destroy Naraku, I should like my son to carry on the family's Heck? mission. <sighs> I am indebted to you for saving my daughter. Monk, I hope you will find it in your heart to forgive my men for their earlier rudeness. You need not thank me, and I bear no grudge towards your men. But I fear the danger has yet to pass. The demons will surely attack again. Come to think of it, the princess will undoubtedly be safer if she were to stay here with me. Here in the same room, sharing the same bedding. He's at it again! <laughs> If it isn't my old dear friend, Kagome and Inuyasha. Hardly. Why would I be jealous? Huh? Your faith in me is strong, so you at least can sense my pure intentions. Sure, that and the fact that you have some jewel shards. <sighs> There's two. Oh, no, looks like three. You have the power to see the shards. Six! <laughs> really, Miroko? You'll come with us? Gladly. Journeying in the company of a pretty woman is so much more enjoyable. <laughs> <laughs> and despite Inuyasha's appearance, he's really not such a bad fellow. It is death that concerns me, and my wretched fate is a mere mortal. Don't look to me for sympathy! <laughs> I really should keep my mouth shut. Uh, Miroku! I'm fine. I just need to rest. The imp must be right about the poison. It's getting more difficult to breathe. Shippo! Huh? How's he doing? Not well. He's gotten worse. Hang on. I've got to get some antidote into him fast. I need you to take this medicine. Think you can sit up? Uh, 
No. I'm too weak. Pass it through your mouth. Good idea. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I think I can manage on my own. I thought I was going to lose you. I was terrified. Let me go! I want to see! What's he doing? This isn't something for children to see. The younger princess is petrified. Leave her, I mean, things to me. If she is like her sister, the younger princess must be a beauty beyond compare. Ah, I love my job. Miroku, am I supposed to help you protect this younger sister? Hmm. First, we must do what we can to lay her fears to rest. Perhaps you can transform into something cute and fuzzy. What for? A bunny! I've always wanted to see one up close. You see? No, not really. I'll explain it to you one day when you're old enough to talk man to man. I must take leave. Your sister's soul requires my unwavering protection. Do not abandon me, Master Miro! I care about my safety! Oh. No one will come after you, I guarantee it. You are too cruel! Do you think we were mistaken in allowing Inuyasha to go on his own? He sure took off in a hurry when he heard the monk's story. Think about it. Inuyasha's probably still in love with Kikyo. What? That's why it's better to leave them alone. Why? What do they need to be alone for? I believe I understand her meaning. Huh? The woman he once loved so completely may have changed. And if that were indeed the case, he could not allow others to witness the change in her or in himself. But why would that be? And come on, who's to say she might have changed for the better? Then what do you think would happen? I don't know. I suppose if it were me, I'd get back together with her. Huh? huh? Yeah? So is that what you'd do? This is different. Is it my imagination, or did she just give me a really cold stare? No, definitely not your imagination. He's right. Let's take it one step at a time and focus on gathering the jewel shards. We won't have to chase Naraku. If we keep collecting the shards, he'll eventually come to us. I know you're hungry for revenge, but you must be patient. I see. Please believe me. I understand how you feel. Thank you. But is it necessary to keep stroking my legs while you talk? <laughs> At least he didn't start hitting on her until she was feeling better. Moroku, try to control yourself, will ya? Uncle, wake up! Oh no, she swallowed too much water. I'll have to breathe air into her. Hmm? My intentions were honorable. Right. I wonder which cave the real water god is being held captive in. Well, it has to be around here somewhere. Is someone there? Huh? The voice of a young woman. Who's there? I see. The water god is actually the water goddess. Uh -huh. Just hurry up and unseal this cave and set me free. <sighs> right away. Uh, uh, hello, goddess? In here! Uh, oh, uh, <laughs> You're so beautiful, but so tiny. It would be a first for me, but I'm certainly willing to give it a try. Try what? Uh, nothing! Resist all temptation. Got everything ready? Lure it this way! Couldn't we use a mouse trap? Sango, you almost done? Oh. Is this oh. one of the demons being destroyed oh, no. by the smoke? Inuyasha just has a very sensitive nose. Hmm? Hmm. What a beauty. She was really beautiful. He probably gave her the line about having to have his firstborn child. What? Have his child? I see. So, you're a princess from a very prominent clan, then? I was. My clan had been decimated by war, and I am the sole survivor of my house. So, in order to restore my family, I wish to bear the child of a strong lord. So, you sought me out. You have great taste. Will you do me the honor? Uh, 
Oh, I should have known this was all far too good to be true. Tell me, Inuyasha, is it my imagination or have the girls been staring at me quite coldly? Well, I don't know. Maybe it's from all the womanizing. Hmm? What do you expect, Miroku? They think you're a philandering creep. <sighs> I've been misunderstood. You may not believe what I'm going to tell you, but... You're right about that. Spare us the lies. You could at least give me a chance to explain myself. You're awake. Hi, Moroku. You're gonna be fine. The monk stitched up the wind tunnel. <gasps> uh, what's wrong with your hand? <laughs> Mr. Moroku. Uh, it seems like you've made a full recovery. Sounds like he's still got a lot of life left in him. Hmm. Moroku's bloodline is to be feared. Well, Shippo? They're still in deep conversation. Really? Now's our chance to go for a dip in the hot springs. I know the monk would try to peek at us, but do you think Inuyasha would? No way. He's such a cold fish. Do you want him to look? In order to break the curse of the Shikon Jewel, we must destroy Naraku first. Mm hmm Did you follow the deeper points of our conversation, you peeping toms? <laughs> huh? A monkey? Uh, hey! What's with all the ruckus? Ah! Ow! Hmm. <laughs> this time you actually were in deep conversation and rushed to help. Why did they have to suspect me, too? Mm, it was worth the pain. That was a wonderful sight we just saw. So they went to find medicine, did they? Inuyasha and the others? Yes, they did. And I've stayed back here to protect and look after you. So, no more talking and try and get some rest. Something wrong? It might be safer outside. And that's why Kagome sent me, so that I could protect you from being protected by him. What he said. <sighs> hey, dog breath! Take this chance to run, but keep your hands off my woman, got it? His woman? She can see the sacred jewel, so she's perfect for me! What? Is there any truth to what he's saying, Kagome? Nothing's going on! He's deluded! It's wishful thinking! He's making it up! I knew it! He's living in a fantasy, you flea bag! It's not a fantasy. I've claimed her as mine. I'm in love with you, Kagome! <sighs> You're far better off with me, and you know it. It's time to make a clean break and give up that pathetic mutt face. He's not good enough for you. Forget about him. I'm gonna kill him someday anyway. Once you've been with a real warrior like me, you'll never go back to scraps again. <laughs> He's pretty direct, isn't he? I wish I had that kind of audacity. All right, one at a time, line up. Ooh, this is a fine poem. You'll live a long life and have many children. Thank you, Monk. Are you sure? I'm sure that the father of your first child could be a man of the cloth. <laughs> what about your vow of chastity? You just gave her the exact same fortune you gave me. True, but I don't have to make you fortunate at the same time. We can take turns. What do you say? Think it over carefully. Denying your destiny now could throw you off course for the rest of your life. Oh, you're so naughty! <laughs> huh? oh. He's acting like a dirty old man. Songo! Something wrong? Hmm? Miroku! Hmm? It is you, Master Miroku! You've returned! Miroku, how I've missed you! Hmm. Uh, I take it we met in the past? I am Koharu. Koharu? Oh, you don't say. For three long years, I have waited. Koharu, I almost didn't recognize you. How very providential meeting you like this. That young girl is a friend of Miroku's? More than just a friend, judging by how nervous he looks. Oh, yeah. Then, a wondrous day. Here, eat up. A kind gesture from you when you happen by our village to perform an exorcism. So your name is Koharu, and how old are you? I'm 11. Are you? Koharu, 
Would you consider having my children? <laughs> um, is something the matter? You're disgusting! How could you lead an innocent girl on like that? You lech! The happiest day of my life. <laughs> you better take responsibility for this! Right. Would it change matters if I told you I haven't laid a finger on the girl? That seems hard to believe. Well, she was still a child. Miroku had to take leave of our village shortly afterward. I knew that one day he would return for me. I believed it with all my heart. Please, Miroku, won't you take me with you? Koharu. I have nowhere else to go. Besides, I am an adult now. I am able to bear your children. <laughs> Still, we cannot simply abandon the orphan child. True enough. Perhaps she can accompany us until we find a suitable family that can take the girl in. At the least, seeing it was you who asked her to bear your children. Oh, that. I ask the same question every single time I meet a new girl. Every girl except one, maybe. <clears throat> Songo, would you consider bearing my... Spare me, would ya? I cannot guarantee that I would always be able to protect you in times of battle. Parting like this is difficult for me as well. <laughs> Does it look like he's setting her straight? From up here, it looks more like he's seducing her. Letcher, he's all over the girl. A parting like that'll make her fall deeper in love. Why are you staring? I might just be imagining it, Sango. But is there a little jealousy thing going on here? It's your imagination! If you say so... Must decline. If reason gave way to passion and Koharu became pregnant, she would be burdened for the rest of her life with my likeness. <gasps> reason gave way to passion? So what does that mean, Moroku? Delighted you asked. I'm delighted you won't answer! Shippo's still young, remember? <sighs> Listen, it wasn't like some kind of tryst or anything. So he did see her. Come on. I figured that much out myself, stupid. Here we go again. Mind you, I can't understand why he doesn't want to go into the details. Forget about me for a while and tend to Inuyasha's wounds, Kagome. I'll pass. He can't be too hurt seeing as he can walk. Uh, do us all a favor and apologize to her. I don't like being caught in between. I'd much rather be stroking Sango's delicate pale skin. Keep your distance. Trust me, and keep smiling. Yes, I will. Thank you. <clears throat> Moroku! No, say something to me! Please, hang on, Moroku! <laughs> We brought some water. How is Moroku feeling? I think he's feeling much better. <laughs> if you're gonna reason with me, come on!